is this the brand that all the big names should be fearing? Because they are getting quite a lot of praise. Let's have a look at these irons and find out. That could potentially be in the hole. Just approaching the green there, just initial first few hits out on the golf course with them. One ball hit, two ball hit, three ball hit. Did call, said it could be in the hole. There we go, we just hold a wedge down the hill. Look at her, love it. I've had a hole in one, now I've had a hole out eagle here. So the brand in question is the Tacomo brand. Now, three things that I want to talk to you about to maybe answer that question I posed earlier. The first one being the looks of the irons. But as we do that, I've actually already had a little bit of a hit of these golf balls. I've been playing a couple of rounds with them here at La Cala. I've also had a hit down at Trafford Golf Center. And what I'm seeing is that these are one beautiful looking set of irons and to be fair one of Tacomo's things that they do state is that they are bringing Swedish or Scandinavian design to the golfing industry so they're making something beautiful but not leaving out actually the technology side of things we're going to have three shots off three different tees here just working through some of the uh the irons we've got the six iron the eight iron and the wedge i want to use here just because these are a player's set of irons and i want to see if there is that playability factor here and what better way to test that than actually hitting some shots from three different yardages and trying to actually work the ball a little different because I'm at 170 and I've got the six iron. I'd want to normally hit this full out to about 185, 190. So I'm gonna to have to hit a little bit of a, a knock down one. But let's talk looks first of these irons because behind the golf ball, they look so clean and they look so classic. And again, that is one thing that Tacomo was saying, but that is what drew me to them straight away. Let's see if we can knock this first one in the hole though. Not a bad start, I just pushed that a little bit. It sounded absolutely sensational. Just a little bit short of the green there. But yes, like I was saying, the look classic. When we actually see the blade up here, there's not a lot going on. It's very simple, it's very understated. And I think that is the same with all the irons, whether it's the 101s, the 201s, or the 301 models. What we're seeing is a lot of classic design and almost something that, if you look back at, a, say, a Mizuno Tor Proven iron, even I think that nowadays looks awesome. And we see that from these Tacomo irons. Let's just try and get a little bit closer with our second attempt of a hole in one here. That's got chances if it hits the bank, you know. It'll kick in now. Oh, well, that wasn't far away. That wasn't far away at all. Now, the model that I've got here is the 301CB, which is their cavity back design. And it's an iron that's designed for a player that's looking for that look of maybe the classic sort of blade, but also wants a hair of forgiveness. They do offer other models in the ranges that do look um, stunning as well, but they probably offer a, a little bit more on the side of forgiveness and a little bit more on the side of distance as well. This one, it just has that beautiful look about it. Think behind the golf ball, whether it's a four iron, whether it's a mid iron, you know, your six or your seven, or even the, um, the pitching wedge. What I love is it's got that sort of compact blade length about it. The top line looks nice and sleek. I think if we were to Photoshop a tailor-made logo or you know a Mizuno logo a Titleist logo onto the back of one of these irons they would not look out of place or just hit a massive pull hook that's one thing that the Tacomos can't do they can't save you from really bad golf swings which that just was let's move down to the eight iron let's see if we can get any uh, closer with this uh, Tacomo iron chances one of the other reasons why these are getting so much praise is the actual feel of them build quality as well they look stunning they're built fantastically they're built from an s20c steel which is giving them that soft forged feeling and compared to other big brands i.e your mizunos your tightless your tailor maids that have got that feeling they feel absolutely fantastic when you're chipping with them when you're hitting long shot when you're hitting your full irons out there they do feel good they feel sensational one of the other big factors that we need to talk about is the price. 
the actual price of what the Tacomo set is going to come in at. But let me just get the second one away here because we nearly got a hole in one there. I think we're about a foot away. Hopefully we can maybe improve on that. Keep drawing, keep drawing. I tell you what as well, flight control for a player's set of irons. They're so good at that, but the price, this is where Tacomo are really doing big things because they are a direct to consumer brand. They're cutting out the middleman. So you are just going onto their website and you are buying their irons direct and they are shipping them to you. It means that the saving costs on their marketing, they're not having to deal with the big stores and having the prices slashed, which means that for a set of four to pitching wedge of this one, the 301 CB, which is like the premium players club, we would see that they're coming in at $649, which is £550. That's like seriously cheap for a set of irons. Seriously cheap. If you think along the lines of a Mizuno MP221, 223 or a 225, you're looking in the region of £1,200. Some other sets, Tyler made, tight lists, similar prices. If we took the labels off them, you wouldn't know. If you actually hit them, you wouldn't know. If we did a blind test, you wouldn't know the difference between a TaylorMade and a Tacomo. They feel good, they sound good, yet I'm only giving you half my money. That is absolutely brilliant. Be even better if we got a hole in one with them. Oh, I let myself down with a big skinny rascal. Still on the green though, we'll take that. So that's where I think Tacomo are gonna maybe start to scare the big brands because when you're providing such a good club that looks good and it feels good, and then we throw in the actual fact that the price is half the price, what's not to love about them? What is not to love about them? Let's move down to our wedge now and see if we can maybe get this hole in one. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the playability of them. And we're gonna talk about the only problem that I see with Tacoma. So we know that they look good, they sound good, they feel good. We know that the price is cheap, but playability, do they actually work these irons when we're playing them against maybe a TaylorMade or one of the other big brands? Do we see that they stand up? Now, I've had quite a few shots with these. I've been down at the driving range with them. I've been out here on the golf course quite a bit. I've had them out at Warrington for a bit. And I can definitely say the answer is a yes. And even when we were hitting some shots, just catching some shots of me testing them, I even managed to hold a wedge. A player like me managed to hole a wedge from the fairway. Let's just uh, see if we can repeat that feat here. We're on the, uh, the third, it's only 100 yards from here. Pins at the front, it's playing about 80. Let's see if we can get it in close. A little bit chunky, that one. Just needed another yard or two and it would have got there. But what I've seen from every other review and what everyone else is tending to say is that they are a good iron. The distance irons, the more forgiving ones seem to be stacking up and actually delivering on that distance and that forgiveness and seeing that they are very playable. These shots, I tested some before and tried to hit some different types of shot, whether it was a high one, a low one or a fade or a draw with the six iron. I found it really easy to manage and even with these, I think there is an air of forgiveness in them when you don't quite catch these cavity back players clubs. There's definitely still an air that you get away with a few missed strikes. Sit down a little bit and hit the stick. Oh, that was right over the top of it. That was about five yards too far. Let's hit one more. And then I just wanna talk about the only issue I see with them. That's at the stick again. It needs to sit a tiny bit. Oh, just a bit bold with that one. So, should the big brands be worried? I do think that they should be. The only slight hiccup that I have with direct-to-consumer clubs is the custom fitting process. I was able to order these and I was offered a range of specs and a range of shafts that I could have them in, but I wasn't able to try them before I did that. And I think now, especially when golf gear is more expensive, not the Tacomos, but even when you are spending hundreds of pounds on a set of clubs, I would want to try them. I want to know that I'm getting the right specs. I think we're all a little bit more educated on custom fitting nowadays, and we know that it is important. So it'd be interesting to see as time rolls on how Tacoma actually battle that because they might have a traveling rep or some demo days that allows you to then just pitch up, try the irons out, get the spec for you and carry on ordering them because I think that's the only thing that they need to tick the box on. Because if they can do that, like I've said, 
they look good, they sound good, they feel good, they play good, and they are at half the price of the big brands. What's not to like about these irons? They are really, really good. So it'll be interesting to see where they go moving forward. Will they become one of the bigger names and will we see potentially that they have to go into retail store to be able to offer that level of custom fit and that bumps the price up or are they able to figure it out themselves? Guys, let me know, have you tried them? Also, comment down below. Are there any other brands that we should be trying that we haven't heard of that are producing great quality irons for half the price or a lot less than the big brands? Hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one.